Let's take a look at programming a color picker on our Tessera. I've already created a color picker in my interface. It's a color picker and four different faders, one for red, green, blue, and intensity. If we select the color picker, we'll notice the key is set to color 001. When I go to the trigger tab, I'm now gonna add an MTPC color change trigger. I go to my color picker selector, press tab, and choose my color picker. When working with color pickers, you're gonna to wanna to use a set RGB action. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is select the target of the color picker, either a fixture or a group. Let's select a group. You can then go to the drop down menu and choose which group you wanna work with. I'll pick my left trees. For intensity, we're gonna leave this one at a value because normally when you're working with a color picker, you want intensity to go to full. Underneath that, we have options for red, green, and blue. Notice these default to variable one, two, and three. When you touch a color picker on a Tessera, three values are captured. The red value becomes variable one, the green value becomes variable two, and the blue value becomes variable three. Let's upload this config and take a look. When I come to my color picker and touch somewhere on the color picker, my fixtures will turn on and then go into the particular color. As I drag my fixture around the color picker, the colors will update. Notice my faders don't update as I change the color picker. Let's do something to change that. First thing first, let's go to our interface tab. Intensity is gonna start off by default at zero, so I wanna select this fader and change its startup value to zero. Looking at my red, green, and blue faders, notice each one has a different key. I've set the key for the red fader to be red 001, the green fader is green 001, and the blue fader is blue 001. For intensity, I've set it to be intensity 001. Now, when we jump back to our trigger pane, we can add another action to our trigger to control each of the faders. Go to new action and add set TPC control value. I can come down here to my control hit tab and all of my sliders throughout all of my config will be shown. Let's find our red one. There's red 001, so we'll select that. In this case, what I wanna do is change its index, which will be its height, its index number one, to be whatever the red value is. Now remember, if we look back at our other action, that red was variable one. We're gonna use that same variable one here. I can now come in and duplicate this action two more times for my green and blue faders. We'll go to our second one and I'll change my control from red 001 to green 001. I also need to update my variable because if we remember back in our trigger, green is variable two. We'll now do the same thing for the blue fader. Select which one we wanna work with and change its variable to be the correct number. Blue is variable three. Just to be thorough, I'm gonna duplicate this one more time and set one for the intensity fader. Since the intensity fader is changing when we touch the color picker, it's a good idea to update it too. However, unlike the variables we were working, this one's gonna to go to a fixed percentage. We wanna set this to 100%, because if we look back at our trigger, that's what we're setting intensity to. Let's go ahead and upload our config and take a look at our color picker. Now, when I come over here and touch a color, notice my faders update. Intensity goes to full, and my red, green, and blue faders go to whatever color they need to be in. If I move my finger around the color picker, notice that all three of my color faders track, but intensity stays the same. We're almost done here, but notice that when I change my fader, nothing really happens either with output or on my color picker. So let's add a few more features into our programming. In my trigger pane, I'm gonna add a new trigger. This one will be a set TPC slider move. I wanna come over here and select my red slider. This will allow me to control what the red value is doing. I'm gonna add a new action, which does set RGB. We'll make sure our target is set to group, and our group is the same group that we are working with with our color picker. I don't need intensity, green, or blue, cause I'm only talking about red in this fader. Remember back to when we worked with faders that the fader value will always be captured as variable one, so I can leave that as red. I can now come in here, add a new action, 
which is my set TPC control value. And this will allow me to update the color picker information. I'll come to control and select my color picker. I want to update index number one on this because that's the red information for a color picker. And I want to use variable one because that's where the information from the slider is coming from. I'm going to duplicate this entire trigger now. Come over to slider and change this to green. Select my green slider and my set RGB command. All of my information for target remains the same, but I want to disable red and enable green. The last thing I need to do here is update this to variable one because we're still getting that value from this trigger. Go over to control state. The color picker will still be the one we're modifying, but this time I want to modify index number two, the green index of the color picker. Let's go ahead and duplicate this trigger one more time and set this to blue. I select my set RGB, disable green, set blue, and change my variable to one. I select the MTPC control value. We're still updating our color picker, but now we're index three, which is blue. So let's go ahead and upload this and take a look. I'm gonna come over to my color picker, touch a color, all of my faders update, but now I'll modify my fixtures a little bit. I can take a little bit of blue out and notice as I change my blue fader here that both the fixtures in the real world and my color picker update. As I work with any of these other ones, we'll be able to create whatever colors we want using both the color picker or the faders. The last thing I want to add here is the ability to control our intensity from that fader too. So I'm going to add a new TPC slider move, set it to my intensity, and add a set RGB command. I don't care about red, green, or blue in this instance, but I do need to set my group. The last change I need to make here is to select this to be a variable instead of a value. This needs to capture its information from the slider. I've now created a fully functional page with red, green, blue, intensity, and a color picker. 